What's happening, YouTube? It's your boy, Bama King Lawyer, and I'm here to tell you how to pass math quick and easy. Get it out of there, fast. Guys, I know you're wondering, like, uh, I'm stuck on math right now. I really don't know what to do, you know? I mean, it's been years since I've been in school. It's so hard. I don't know what to do. I, whoosh, X that out. It's not hard at all, guys. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. I'm about to give you all the strategies you need to pass math on your first try, guys. Everything you need is right here on YouTube anyway. So the first thing you need to do, guys, is make sure you got you a notebook and a pen, guys. Then you want to come to uh, YouTube. You want to come on YouTube. You want to hit that search button. And you want to start looking up GED math. Now, stick with me. Stick with me. Don't go ahead and click off this video because I'm going to give you the strategies that you need to know to pass the test. Because if you just click off the video right now, you're not going to know what to do. Because you're going to go study something then try to take a test. And you might not get the test that you studied. Uh huh. So don't just get on here searching for tests and everything and go after that and then go off of that and then try to go take the test. It's not going to work like that. Now, I had about five people that I ran into that I talked to about the GED math test. A couple of them told me they had failed several times and it was different tests every time. And the majority of the test was either geometry, algebra, or, you know what I'm saying, lines, graphs, stuff like that. So either test you get once you start seeing what's on there, you start seeing geometry, it's going to be geometry. You start seeing algebra, it's going to be most algebra. You might have a, a little bit of something mixed in there, but 50% of that test is going to be about what you start seeing the most. Word problems, stuff like that. Now, now you got to know you got about three to five tests out there that you might get. So here's the things that you need to be jotting down every time you go to study whether it's Khan Academy test prep or whoever you search to go study this stuff make sure you looking at specific stuff guys make sure you looking at the geometry part study all of that the algebra part study all of that once you go to these teachers and everything you can get all of this done within probably a week guys I did it in two days and I'm gonna tell you what I did first I studied and I was gonna take a practice test first so I studied first and then I went to the practice test and took it. Then I turned around and looked back on YouTube. And I was like, hold on. They got some of the practice tests on here. I could have been studying that. And then went on ahead and took the real test. But still, don't do that. Make sure you take a practice test first to see where you at. I took the practice test. I passed the test. And then, like I said, I studied for only like two days. Went through everything and took the test because um, the place was closed that I was going to go take the test at. And then I went and took the test the following week, guys pass the test those are the tips you need guys you just need that notepad like i like i said you might not have, you know what I'm saying finish school you might not have went past 10th grade guys the only math you really gonna need to know is about right into ninth grade guys for real for real if you can remember that algebra that geometry you've seen back then you're gonna start seeing stuff that you didn't seen before but on youtube it make it a lot clearer than sitting in the classroom so go study it go look it up quick easy and fast, you can pass that math test just that fast by following those steps I just told you. It's your boy, Bama King Lawyer. I'm checking out.